Well, we were driving on a couple backcountry roads. We wanted to go to a location that we actually drove by not too long ago. I don't know, maybe about a year ago. We've been checking up on it recently. Well, we drove by today and it looks like it was abandoned as we were thinking. But as you guys will see here, somebody burnt the whole place down the last like two weeks. Damn. Crime Stoppers tape. So again, it probably was somebody who just burnt it down randomly. I'll put the video, the little clips of what this house did look like. This is all the add-on property. That main part of the house was the one that had all new windows installed in it. Well, if anybody knows what this tree is, you guys will know the cabin right behind this. Famous mob man, Al Capone's cottage. Not much left of it. Well, we are inside of Al Capone's cabin up in Ontario. There's a few things left in here, but a lot of it's been destroyed and the building is slowly collapsing on itself. Would have been really cool to see this place when it was still in good condition. Well, that's looking down to the basement. Okay. Well, that room's already caved in the floor. I wonder if this place was used as a grow up at some point. Wow, the original, some original curtains here. Creepy doll on the wall. I'm not sure what these are for. It's almost like drying racks. But look at the pulleys up top. Let me know what those pulleys are for, guys.
definitely want to watch out with this floor. I'm going to try and walk on the beams. Definitely a sketchy location. Here's the basement with the fridge. Small little kitchen area. And the last little storage, or bedroom, I guess. But look at the walls and the, the woodwork on this place. Well, guys. Like I said, just wanted to make it out here. Never seen this place. Heard a lot of people talk about it. Al Capone's Hideout, Northern Ontario. Wow, if walls could talk. Let's take a quick look down here. We're gonna head out. Al Capone's deformed boob tree. Very cool. Well guys, quick stop off on the road. Found this amazing old church. Man, it's even a puzzle, Jesus. I'm not sure what that would have been for. Does anybody know what these would have been for? Part of churches, why there's a little small entrance way? I do it new. All the pews all still here. I'm guessing they might still use this because it's way up in Northern Ontario. They probably still use it for maybe like local churches or funerals maybe. Power is, I think, still going, but it's off right now. Because we did try this light, but it don't work. So the power's been shut off to the whole building so far. But just another amazing little church dated back to, I think it was 1850 something. And then re-renovated back in early 2000s, I believe. Let's keep looking around. <laughs> 